Hi, it's Mala's Vegan Chick. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I got a lot of rain last night. I filled up my little fountain here. Didn't have to do that. One less chore. So I'm back out in the far back garden and I thought I would add a little decor onto the arbor. So I thought I would share that project with you as well. Everything's still looking good. I'm actually back out here to also do some more work on the far back garden. Decided since I like the way this looks, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble that section and kind of copy this design over here. Won't be the same, but similar with the same bricks. Those bricks are different, so I'll switch the bricks out. I did get some more bricks, a lot more bricks to actually finish this side as well. I'm all stacked up and ready to go. So yeah, I'm gonna pull all these out. These are all half bricks, um, which is why they were free. <laughs> They're all broken bricks, but still very useful, especially in the garden. So I'll add some of them over here to this little area I call my little courtyard. It's what it feels like to me, a courtyard. And I'll add some more to this border where I didn't have enough to do this, this little side here, I used stone. So I'll switch that out to brick. So that's another project. But anyway, so I'll make use of this brick. So I have enough to do this side. So all this is coming out. Probably have to move some plants around as well. But we got a good rain last night. So what better time to move plants than early spring and after a rain. But first, I want to go ahead and... Oh, check the quints out. A little more buds here. Okay, so back to the project. So what I have here, all the things I need for my project, which is going to look similar to this arbor. It has cobalt blue bottles on it. Now that arbor actually came as a bottle tree arbor. Yes, I actually found that at a thrift store. So I want to add the same kind of effect onto this Oops, onto this arbor, which is just a plain arbor, by, and this is a Pinterest kind of thing that I found, thought that was pretty cool. So these are just what they look like, old box spring springs, <laughs> old rusty box springs, and someone has um, cut them off. My neighbor gave me these. She also collects a lot of cobalt blue bottles, and she bought over she's actually given me several that i have in the front but she brought some more over and i thought oh my god this is going to be perfect because i can add them to this arbor you know kind of attach them and then add bottles to this arbor as well so there's different things that people use these for um but i want to use them to hold a bottle to hold my cobalt blue bottles so i have six of them I will paint these black, but what an amazing use for old box spring mattress. So that is awesome. So yeah, I think I have six of them, three on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, attach them with the zip ties, and I'll show you how it looks after I've got it all painted. And then I'm going to get back over to my other project. All right, so stay tuned. I'm just using this spray paint as primer. But since the arbor is already black, I can just spray paint these on the arbor. They look good, let me step back. So if I come across some more, I will put those on there. But even with the six on there, I'm okay with that because 
hopefully my moon vine will cover this up and you won't see most of the arbor anyway. The bottles will just kind of stick out. All right, so I'm done with this. I'm gonna go back over here. Go ahead and get started over here. So yeah, on this arbor, I've got some old medicine bottles, beautiful vintage antique medicine bottles. There's even an old pepper shaker, beautiful. Hopefully I'll find the salt one one day. I like these the best when I find the old medicine bottles. So this one has little things that stick out on it because it is a bottle tree arbor made for the bottles. So little bottles like this can just stick out like that. So that looks good. There's another Milk of Magnesia medicine bottle. But yeah, so this actually came as a bottle arch. I think it was like a wine display from a store or something. And of course I painted it black. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started over here. I had a trumpet vine growing on here. Thought it would be hardy enough, but clearly not, cause that is dead. All right, so I got all the bricks out, drag this out. <laughs> I've got to get the other one. These are solid concrete. <laughs> All right, so I got one brick bed finished with the rose bush here as my focal point. Right, so I still got to work on both sides here. And I did dig up the smoke bush and I've got a hole for it to even it out with that one over there. It is sprinkling, so the rain is kind of slowing me down a little bit, but I'm gonna keep working until it gets to raining too heavy where I can't be out here. I don't know if this is, needs to come back, so I'm, uh, I want to pull this back out. Wherever love goes, there is also misery. It's no mystery. And you and I, we got history, yeah. Wherever love flows, there is also tragedy. When we're in too deep, and you and I,